Hello, we're back again. I decided I'm going to finish this drawing. I'm not going to do a timer this time, uh, but I like where this is going and I, I certainly like the reference art. So um, we're going to touch this up and uh, we're going to finish it. If you didn't see it in the last video, I gave myself an hour to try and mimic this drawing as best I could because I like the style. It's new to me and I like this character. Um, she's from Inuyasha. Her name is Sango. And, uh, and yeah, this is where I got. So now we're going to finish it up. I'm going to take my time and, uh, and, uh, fix all the things that, that need to be fixed still. So let's see. Nothing is named because I didn't name any of my layers in the last video because I was in a rush. So I'll have to do a little bit of experimenting to figure out, uh, what layers are what. Okay. So that's my original line art. Don't necessarily need that. Right, okay. So I'm going to go to my sash layer now. We're going to make a layer above it. And I'm going to add all of the line art that the clothing needs. Some of it is just bordered by black, but some of it does need to have lines. Now, I think ideally I should have... Uh, I should have used the line art from the line art stage right and and just colored inside of it but I've changed everything since then so I'm gonna have to fake it I guess and this is probably a bad idea but we'll see okay what happened what was that wrong color that's what that is okay there we go I want it to be slightly smaller than that So I need to do the outside of her sash here. Too far. My doggy is done being in here. She's looking at me. She's giving me that look. Hey, I don't want to record anymore. I want to go play. Let's see. She's still a puppy, so I have to keep her in here with me. I can't really trust her on her own just yet. I don't necessarily like how my lines turned out, and I think I need to look into using a stabilizer more often. More often, I say that, but I mean ever, really. Because they're squigglier than they should be. And I know it's just like the tablet and the computer and the software all working together to make my lines squigglier than they actually are. Because I draw on paper and I know, I know my lines are better than that. That's one thing about having another medium that you're more confident in is I know that, uh, you know, I know what my stuff should look like so I can tell when it's my tool that's giving me a hard time. And it's really hard to tell early on when that's the case. I know what that's like. I'm gonna try and find this layer with the hand so I can fix it. Okay, it's this layer. We're gonna just erase the part that shouldn't be visible. Oops, too much. She's actually got... That's interesting. She has, um, it's going to be wrapped around her, her hand like this. Where does it go? It goes to her thumb. Oh, her thumb's not even visible anymore. Oops. Going to have to work on that too. It's going to come down and over and just kind of wrap around.
That's fine. So I'm going to have to erase... I think that's the hair layer. Yeah. That's the hair layer. I need to erase some. Part of the problem is that my white is actually the background. So that has to go through all the layers in order to show. So, but that's okay. I'd rather erase a little bit, I think. Ooh, there's a little bit of lag there. What's going on? Am I on my eraser? I'm on my eraser. Why is it not doing anything? I think I was on the wrong layer. Yeah, that's the wrong layer. So the lag was because I was trying to erase on a group layer, and it just... I don't know. It doesn't do anything. It shouldn't do anything, but it caused some lag. Where's your thumb? I need to find your thumb here. There we go. It's a little bit better. Let's give her hand some space, and I'll come back and fix it in a minute. Okay. So this is part of the clothing layer, the sash layer. I need to fix that too. All part of the learning process. On the same sash layer, we are going to uh, color in these. The wraps. She's like wrapping the sash around her hand to tighten it. Okay. So I feel better about that little bit now. Her wrist doesn't quite make sense. This is the body layer, right? I think I need to extend her arm a bit. Let's just see. Oh, see, I'm trying to draw on the group layer again. It's messing me up. This should be arm, I think. And then on my mask layer, I need to erase some. See, these highlights are all out of control because I just haven't, didn't have time to get to it yet. I just slopped them on real quick. There's not any highlight on the top of her arm. Let's see. Let's go back to my hair. Give myself a little breathing room here. I got sloppy with the hair too because I was in a rush. Let's see. So there should basically be a separation here somewhere. There's going to be two strands of hair. Let's zoom in some. <laughs> I'm trying to use a giant brush to do this fine detail that I should not be doing with a giant brush. Okay. Hair is hard for me. I really don't have a lot of experience drawing hair. I'm just not very good at it. Hair and heads and hands and arms and feet and basically everything. <laughs> I'm just not very good at, but that's okay. Let's see. I feel like our neck is too far to the left now. But I can just move that line, I think, to the bottom of the ear and that'll fix it. I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to make this hair over here make a little more sense to me. Yeah. 
it needs to extend. I'm going to have to move her, I think. I need to be able to see it. Okay. I am still trying to keep my keep my pace up a little bit. Cuz I don't want this to turn into another multi-part series or anything. I just want to finish this in this one session and then be done. So what is this? That's my hair layer. Okay. So that's a thin one that becomes a separation down there. That's what they did. I think she's got too much arm. Their arm isn't laid out this way at least. That's a little bit too much there. I'm not sure what that line is. Where that extra extra is coming from. Might be from my line layer or something. Oh, it's hair. Of course, it's hair. I got a little too crazy with the hair. I thought I could be sloppy with it, and I was too sloppy. Alright, there we go. Let's go back to my hair layer. Oh, I'm still in my hair layer, right? Yeah. Let's go back to drawing my hair. I want to extend this all the way down. And I can't, I can't draw over the hands with the hair because the hair, the hands whiteness comes from the, from the background, which is going to be a problem later. I think I probably should just fix it now because if I ever want to put a background on the image, right, it's going to mess up. So let me go to the layer with my lines and see if I can just pick something out here. Where is that? Okay, that's the layer with lines. Let's try and select stuff maybe. It's not working. There's too many gaps. Okay, what else can I do? What if I turn everything else off real quick? I'm trying to find a combination of layers uh, that will give me uh, something I can select, you know, for the hands. What's, how does that work? I'll turn it on to select through all layers. No, I've just got too much stuff going on. Too many holes, I mean. Hmm. Alright, I'm just going to have to make a keep dragging layers around with my wand, my wand, my pen, you know what I mean? If you know how to prevent stuff like this from happening, feel free to let me know. Because I am, I am not but a nooblet. Just a goofy little noob. And I appreciate advice. I really do. I'm just going to paint some white. That way I don't have to worry so much about overlapping later. 
when I put a background in or when I draw the hair or something. I'm sure there was a better way to do this that I missed. I just missed along the way. I'm not entirely sure if this is the right order of layers either. second. I need to move this line, but I'll do it after I do this, I guess. There might be some places that I want the... There might be some places where I want the white to be behind. You know? Like this. Probably want it to be behind the hair. Let's see what happens if I throw it way down there. I don't know. I'm gonna keep painting. I probably just messed something up. I have ways to trim it though, I just realized. So if this is too messy. I'll go back and I'll select the hair and then I'll invert my selection and go back to the white layer and delete it. Well, no, I won't invert, but I'll do that. I can use the shape of the hair to delete the excess white if I need to. Okay, let's dump bucket that. Not the whole page. How did it escape? No, I thought I did it right. Okay, that's good. Okay. Oh, she's looking okay. It's getting there. I want this to be... I would like to be proud of this one, and I think we're getting close. I think there's hope. There is hope for us. Okay. How's your year going? How's, how's 2024 going for you guys? My 2024 is great. I'm having a really good time. This art stuff is going really well for me. Uh, much much better than it ever has before. Oh, I don't want to be on that layer. There's my layer. Okay. Yeah, anyway, my art stuff's going really well. I'm making a lot of videos, and it's not... You know, I don't feel like I'm... I don't feel like I have to force myself to make videos, you know? I don't feel like it's... 
uh, like I'm working really hard or anything. I am working a lot. Have you guys ever been like that? Where, like, I'm working like 12, 13 hours a day on on this stuff, right? I say it's work, but to most of you, it's probably it sounds pretty fun. But you know, I spend 12 hours of my day doing productive things that are difficult. And it doesn't bother me. I'm like I'm having an okay time. There we go. Part of the challenge right now is that I'm not using my original line art when I really should be. But because I was in a rush, I just kind of abandoned the line art because I was making adjustments as I went. Again, I had um, I had these compounding problems because my foundation wasn't where it needed to be. You know, I talk about that a lot. I need that one. Uh, I need that one active. This one. See, those are my original lines. And you can see the sash was way off. I was going to have to redo the sash anyway. There's a lot of stuff that was way off. And I fixed it when I was painting in the colors. Now I have to go back and and redraw the lines. Let me just double check. Yep, that's where I want to be. So... Hi baby, what are you doing? She's dropping her toys at my feet. That's my dog. She is very big and very sweet. And I think she wants to play. Let's go to my sash color layer. And let's make it fit. I need to zoom in for this precise erasing. quite the same it's a different uh, there's a gap you know between her, her wrist in it and their drawing and that there's not in mine and that's all right I'm just gonna leave it like that uh, I do need to add I do need to add some wraps around her hand though I think I'm gonna go around her wrist there's gonna be another one down here as well. I'm doing these in the color because I don't have... Uh, there's black here, so if I draw the lines I won't be able to see them. So I'll do the color first and then I'll add lines inside. Oops. That was silly. These are gonna have to be a little different. There'll be another small difference between mine and theirs. That's okay. There's going to be a lot of differences. Probably could have just colored them in by now. With all this messing around with my bucket. There we go. Now let's switch back to black and go back to my line layer. Lines are just above it. I don't need to trace this, but I did. There's that. That's how I'm going to do that. Because I can. And 
This needs a line too. Oops, that's the wrong layer to be racing on. Color, I'm trying to clean up the color now. There we go. Okay. That looks better. This doesn't make sense though. What is that going to? <laughs> Oops. I can fix that. It needs to go over here, I think. We're gonna make it go around the wrist. Which means I need to get rid of part of this black line. You guys listen to math rock? I'm listening to math rock right now. It's good drawing music. I'm listening to Toe. They're a good Japanese math rock band. Trying to fix this line. I may have erased a bit too much here. There we go. It's okay. Looks fine. I'm not going to stress over that little bit. Yeah, the problem with, with not using my original line art is that all of their highlights have the outline, and mine don't now. Hmm. What can I do about that? Is there a way I could fake an outline? I probably could fake an outline. What if I do some kind of select? Let's get rid of this layer. I'm going to try and have just her body as the outline. I think this will work. I'm going to hide my reference too. What if I take... a selection from the outside and I grow by one pixel. Well, let's grow by a little bit more than that. I want it to be thicker than that. We'll do five. Okay, so I've got a, a growth by five pixels, and then, hmm, what if I, I'm just going to do this with a weird color, so I can see what's going on here. We're going to make it on the bottom layer for now. And then in the same layer, I'll do the same thing again. But I'll invert and, and delete. And that gives me an outline. Look at that. Okay. It's not a very good outline, though. And it messed up in some spots, but I think it's because of the, met the selection method I used. Let me go back. It's on all regions. Yeah, that should work. That doesn't work. What if I select inverse here? What if I go negative five? Save me some time. All right, there we go. Let me just invert it and do this. That's kind of like an outline, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that works. 
We'll just use that. A lot of my time I seem to spend just trying to fix my mistakes <laughs> and find ways around uh, doing things the right way. Let's see, grow zero. I think whatever works though is the right way. Oh, I don't want to do that. It's it's connected down here. Darn, I'll have to do a little bit of manual stuff. Just get rid of this. I'm going to have to come back to this layer and do this again, I think, but that's all right. Because uh, I need to fix the legs. The legs don't have a gap. There needs to be a gap there. How on earth are you doing that? How did you make that jump? You shouldn't be making that jump. There we go. Let's try to get rid of the weird green border. And it still left stuff behind. Sometimes the softness of the eraser gets me like that. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna add a filter layer to this green, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna use that a filter mask, and I'm gonna use that to change its color for now. There we go. Call that BG slash outline. Oh, that looks that instantly looks better. Wow. I'm gonna have to remember that technique. I might use that more often. Alright. So let's turn some stuff back on. See what things look like. That's my old lines. I'm gonna rename that one so I stopped doing that. Old lines. Alright. Wow, I'm much happier with this already. That made a big difference. What do you think? I think it did. Okay. What can I do with this hair? It also needs highlights, and it needs an outline. Let's see if I can find the hair layer. That's interesting. There's more than one hair layer. What's happening? Oh, it's the background. I see. It filled in some of her hair too, because it filled in her whole her whole silhouette. So got these up. Let's take the background off. Yeah, it's not just an outline, unfortunately, but that's okay. I can make it just an outline though. Let's do that really quick. Let's see if I can do it without seeing it. Change this to where it's just the one layer it's selecting. We're going to do a grow of negative five and select and delete. Nope. Negative five is not enough. Negative ten. There we go. Okay, now it's just an outline. It's just a thick outline. Okay. So we're working on hair. Can I just remove some stuff to make it easier? That one's okay. Okay, that's the layer I'm going to work on. That's the hair layer. That's her skin, okay. So this is where I want to work, right? Okay. So I guess first I'm going to put in more highlights. Because there's some areas that need them still. And then I'm going to have to clean up the highlights and maybe add some, uh, I'm going to have to add some borders. 
Can I can I add an outline real quick? What if I do the same thing on this layer? What if I go I'll add a brand new layer underneath the hair. I'll go to the hair layer. I'll select all the hair. I'll give it a grow of like three pixels. And that should give me an outline. If I dump bucket black and then I, oop, nope, not on that layer, on its own layer. There we go. Now on the same layer, I'll grow negative three pixels, negative four pixels, negative eight pixels. Give myself a nice thick outline just in case I need it. Okay, there we go. Now this layer, if I get rid of the hair, is just an outline of the hair. Oh man, that's great. I need it. That's a good trick. I'm glad I, glad I discovered that. Okay, so now I can go back to the hair highlights, wherever they are. My mask layer. And we can work on coloring these in. So I want to get rid of some first because they're just kind of weird and in the wrong spots. Don't need this. I don't know what's going on down here. Let's just get rid of this stuff for a second. That's supposed to be the long hair, I think. Goes by your shoulder. I think your shoulder's in a weird spot too, but that's all right. I need to clean up that part of the of the hair. So there's that. That looks better. I need to just redraw these, I think. I don't think I'm going to be able to clean them up quite right, but I'm going to try. Okay, so let's go back to adding some. to fix the shape of that outline but it should match that when it's done let's mess with my hair my base hair layer a little bit I'm gonna have to change the outline to match it too so this is supposed to be like her yeah, that's like her little puffy bang part. I understand it now. So this part I'm just going to have to draw with some of this I'm going to have to draw with my highlight color. Some of this stuff is just unnecessary. I went too crazy with this hair stuff. 
I thought, oh, I'll just make it under everything, and I can just b blow it up. No, it was a bad idea. Okay. Well, let's turn my stuff back on. This is my hair outlining to hair outline. I have another idea. I'm going to try something else, too, for the hair outline. Let's try this. I'm going to add a uh, layer style to it. Oh, dear. Hold on a second. That wasn't the hair outline layer. It's another outline. Oh, I see. My hair outline is not the outside of the hair. That's the outside of the... Jeez, that's crazy. Okay, I'm going to turn off the hair outline, and I'm going to try adding a layer style. I'm going to add a stroke with a full opacity and, like, uh, two pixels. What does that look like? Does it accomplish the same thing? Oh, it's on multiply. I need to change it to normal mode. What do I see? I don't see anything. Let's change the color. Okay, I don't see anything because the other outline... No, the other outline's gone. Let's make it bigger. Four pixels. Well, that is, in fact, an outline. Let's do that. Let's try this way. We're trying all kinds of experimental stuff today. Okay, that should make it a little easier. Dang, I'm just going to have to leave this outline. It'll be too hard to do the layer technique with this one. But that's okay. We'll have to think about that for next time. Okay, mask layer. Now you guys can't see the reference very well, but I'm going to be working on these. Uh, this hair right here, if I can. I am running kind of short on time. I did want to do this in an hour, so let's try and keep that in mind as we go forward here. I'm not, like, totally timing myself, like, it's not like a challenge, but that's okay. I, um, I do want to limit myself so that I will, uh, like, dilly-dally less when I'm drawing. I've always had a problem with, with not finishing because I would spend too much time trying to make it perfect, you know? And I'm trying to break myself of that habit, and the best way to do that is just going to be to make sure that I limit how much time I spend on stuff. Let's go to my hair layer and see if I can make this look a little better. That doesn't need to be there. It's going to go behind her chest. What is going on with this layer here? Things are getting really complicated. I guess that's what happens when you try to do things fast and you get sloppy and you're not actually all that experienced. Um guess that works. I don't know why there's not an outline there. I feel like there should be. I'm trying to add another stroke, this time to the group. We'll make it uh, four pixels, full opacity. Oh dear. Well, it highlights some problems that I have. I gave her acne. <laughs> Isn't that wild? <laughs> Oops. 
Let me just get rid of those. These are all just like stray pixels. When you have a stray pixel and you add a stroke modifier, or a stroke, stroke layer style or whatever, it'll highlight the pixel by drawing a line around it. That's what the stroke does. See, these are all just stray pixels I had behind, but they won't show anyway because they're behind stuff. Okay. So that gave me back my outline. I'm going to go to our face layer and I'm going to give it an outline too using the same layer style method because I'm trying to save time and I kind of like this method now to be honest. It's kind of cool. I might try doing more like painting style stuff. And if I do that then this will be a handy technique. Okay, so everything up there has got an outline. I would like to fix her chin a little bit. There were some stray lines going on in here that I didn't like. You can see them there. Now I'll go to my face background. And I'll just real quick fix that mess up. Uh, what's going on here? That's the wrong layer. That's my layer. Okay. There we go. She's looking wild. Let's turn everything back on and take another look. Oh, geez. What happened here? Not sure what's going on with that. Oh, it's the stroke. There we go. Wow, I like her head shape a lot more now. It doesn't match the original image, but I like it at least. So that's good. So where did some of my white background go? Oh, I'm missing some because that's going to be highlight, right? Yeah. I still haven't gotten to that yet. Jeez. So, how am I going to do this? I'm going to do it as part of the, the cloth layer. Yeah, I'm going to do it as part of the cloth layer. I'm going to color in her jacket, finally. Best I can. And my layers are all over the place, so there's like stray lines and stuff, and it looks really rough, but we'll get there. This might take me a little longer than an hour, I guess. Let's see. It comes down here. It does that. I'll have to add another. I'll use another stroke outline for this, I guess. Rather than tracing like I did on the sashes. This is a cool style, and I bet if I did it more often, I could use some of these techniques, like the stroke, you know? I could really use those to speed up, speed up my work. I think that'd be, be kind of cool. So I might try that. I might try a style like this more often. 
Let's figure out what those strays are from and get rid of them. Okay, they're just my old line art. Not a big deal. Okay, maybe I want that one line. That's her neck. So I'm going to add an outline in just a second. So I don't need that one. So we're going to add a layer style here. Now I have the outline that I made earlier. And it shouldn't interfere, but we'll see. Maybe it will. Give it a little four pixel, five pixel, I guess. How does that look? Looks pretty good. I'm okay with that. I need to move her neck still. I'm going to do that while I'm up here before I do anything else. And I erase this line. I'm on my line art layer. I want it to be basically at the beginning of the ear, I think. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go to my hair layer. And I'm just going to paint that in, I guess. As hair. There we go. That looks better. I don't like my shading lines very much, but uh, I'm not going to mess with them right now. We're going to leave them. I do need to add some shading lines on her jacket. I'm going to make those like size 8, I guess. is hard right now. curve and parallel. That's how he's, the artist is conveying that there's a curve there. That's about as good as I'm going to get, I think. I just realized I'm missing this little button thing. We're just going to leave the little button thing off. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry if you were invested in that little button thing. Okay, so... I need to go back to my mask layer for the body. That's the hair mask layer for the body. Okay. And I'm going to use the mask layer to do the inside of her jacket. I also need to erase some stuff. I'm going to do that first. More of her chest is showing than that. There's a straight line here. Am I on the right layer? What's going on? I'm not on the right layer. Oh, that's her hair. Once again, her hair's in the way. Great. <laughs> oh, man. I make these mistakes that just come back over and over again. It's just too bad. Okay, the hair's just got to get out of our way. There we go. I think that's it. Now we can work on this. Let's see. So not quite so much of it is showing. We'll just do that. That looks about right to me. Let's 
It's looking pretty good. I want to go to my line art layer and add my favorite part of anatomy. I don't know why, but I always feel like they add a lot to my drawings when I add a collarbone. They're really important, I think. I also need to just... I don't like this shading very much. When you use lines to shade like this, you have to... Sometimes, if it doesn't look dark enough, you have to use more lines. And it doesn't look dark enough to me, so I'm going to use more lines. And the reason why I have to use more than they did is because their lines are thicker relative to the overall size of their drawing, and mine just aren't. Okay, that's good enough. That's good enough for that. Does that collarbone make sense? I think it needs to be up a little bit higher. You just move it. Oh, I don't want to do that. There we go. I think that's all it needs. I think that looks pretty good. Let's add the highlight on my body layer. Hey, we're not that far behind. We might not be, we might not be able to finish it in an hour, but we'll be able to finish it in this video, I think. I'll just hang out with you guys a little bit longer. From, uh, based on the poll that we did on the community page, it sounds like you guys like these videos to be almost as long as possible. Most people wanted them to be at least an hour long, so I'll try and shoot for an hour. If I go a little bit over, I won't stress about it because some people wanted me to go more than that, so that's what we'll do. I think I'm currently dealing with the sketch layer. Yeah, this is my original outline getting in the way. Let's get that out of there. That looks bad. Leave that. Okay, there we go. Now, what else is messing with me? Jeez. Got all these layers in the way. Something's adding... Oh, that's an outline from the background. Okay, so I need to find the background. Would help if I named my layers, huh? This one I do just need to... Color in more. There we go. I'm going to try and add a stroke around my clipping group, and I don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to use my cheater, my cheater outline. There we go. Look at that. Oh, wow. I didn't have to do anything. It just, there we go. <laughs> I have an outline. <laughs> I have to do that more often. What do you think? Should I add something? I'm going to try something. We're going to deviate a little bit from the original artist and see if it makes it look better. It's probably going to look stupid, but I'm going to try it anyway. What if I add just a little bit of like... Does that make sense? Would it make sense for there to be any cleavage up here? I think something would be better. Just something small, I think. I think if I get the curve right, it'll look good.
Hmm. That doesn't work. It would be like this. I'm going to leave it for a while. I like it. Kinda. I kinda like it. I say I'm going to leave it and then I delete it right away. It's just a it's just a hard spot to add a line. Cuz there really shouldn't be too much cleavage there. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for there to be a huge bulbous thing there. But at the same time, I want to. I want it to be known that that is where it is. <sighs> Darn. I think it's just too low. I don't think I can really work one in. like up there is where the actual two would come together but that's just too high up she's not that not that huge yeah we'll just leave it we'll leave it like the original okay let's see I need to do some lines on the sash and then I can work on the body's highlights and then I think we're almost done so let's find the sash layer there we go Got a good outline going. And it's just going to need to go like... Oop. I'll leave it broken like that. I kind of like it. It just outlines it. Dang. I hate when I do that. Alright, let me grab an eraser. I probably shouldn't have done it on that layer. <laughs> I think I did that on my, yeah, I did it on the wrong layer, but that's okay. Okay, I'm okay with that. Let's go to my body layer and create a gap between her legs. There we go, that feels better. My stroke layer style is looking a little bit weird in some places, but that's alright. I can smooth those out if I need to. Okay, let's work on the body highlights. I'm feeling pretty good about this now. I'm going to fix this hair piece first. Something's going on over here. 
hair. I've still got an eraser. All right. The stroke filter does make it harder to get sharp corners. There's a problem with my corner there because of that. Let me go to the hair highlight mask. Just do that. There we go. I like that a little bit better. Let's see if I can get the outline of the hair for this part a little bit better. Oop, that's the wrong layer. Okay, it's okay, I guess. I know I was going to do the body next, but I got distracted by this hair that's messed up. What is this? What's going on? It's the wrong mask layer, that's why. Okay, that feels better. That feels better. While I'm on the hair, <laughs> I'm still working on the hair, I guess. I noticed some new problems that I've created for myself as well. There we go. There's something weird going on right here, and I don't know what it is. It's because I got rid of this old background layer, right? No, that's just another problem that I didn't notice before. So this would be a hair problem, where I need to extend the hair a little bit. Can I, can I move the hair below? No, I can't. So I'm just going to have to be really careful here. It's the wrong layer. I'm going to leave it like that. This was supposed to go down, I think. All the way, wasn't it? Okay. Now I'm going to move on to the body. Let's turn her skin back on. There we go. Onto the mask layer for the body. I'll start with adding. Do I need to add any? No, I need to thin them out. I'm going to add a little bit down here. She should have. Down here somewhere. Something like that.
Okay, I need to thin. I'm gonna thin out the outline first, because I'm just gonna have to thin, go back and erase that anyway. So I'm gonna use a big one. I'm gonna use a bigger one than that. I need to zoom in. I don't like the soft edge on this stupid eraser. I wish I could fix it. Stop doing that. There we go. It's a different brush that doesn't have that. There we go. So I really just want to have, I want to get it somewhat consistent around the whole thing first. And honestly, I was pretty sloppy going through and doing these because I had no time. So some of them I'll probably just redo like this one. I'm just going to redo that. I can make that look better. I think I can also fix this. Fix this shape just a tiny little bit while we're here. I think that's all I need. I need to erase a little bit too. It's a little too large. That's way too small. <laughs> it's so hard for me to get it right the first time. I'd like for it to be down lower. How's that look? That's better. Yeah, it should be down by her thumb. Pretty close to her thumb, really. Okay, I like that more. We'll just finish off her shoulder. And we'll switch back to our highlights. And how's this going to work? Okay, so the breast thins out and the shoulder goes all the way down. like a go straight across well it should be kind of curved Okay, I'm going to use an eraser and try and clean that up a little bit. Okay. Mostly need this to be thinner and then thicker. This needs to be much smaller. My brush is too big. Just trying to use the eraser to create some harder edges on some of this stuff. There we go. I 
How does that look? Hmm, this line's too low. Let me try and get this curve right first. That looks close. We'll swap back to my mask layer. How's that look? It's a better spot for it. How's that? Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. There's more to do. I've got plenty of other stuff to do. I cannot have to agonize over that for too long. Let's check my original drawing layer, my my original lines, and get rid of these. Yeah, that's what that is. Good. In my way. All right. Gonna work on our highlights some more. Got an eraser. Good. We're gonna make her shoulder a little bit more angular, but not too much more angular. Oops. There's that. There we go. Now she's got a bit of a bicep. It's really not a bicep. It's more like the uh, crease, you know? It's like a crease in her clothing. In her suit. I don't know what this suit is. It's like a race car driver suit or a ninja suit or something. She's a demon hunter, so I guess it's a demon hunter suit, huh? Okay, let's add her side. What is going on there? Probably some extra lines. Nope, just me. That's where her crease is going to be. This is actually her side. So let's grab an eraser and zoom in and make all of that more pointy. Because these are folds in fabric, so we want them all to be pretty pointy. It's really hard for me to use light strokes. I'm just very heavy handed, I guess. I don't like how big that, I like how big and triangular I made that. It's not good. It shouldn't be so perfectly triangular because it's fabric, right? It's not 
Can I have such a perfect angle in it? On either side, really. It's also kind of too big, I think. And it's too thick. How's that look? It needs to be closer to her. It's got to be closer to the edge of the highlight there. That's why it looks too thick. Yeah, we're going to leave that. I could I could work on it more, but I'm going to leave it. I think we're just about done. I'm going to fix the uh, the legs a little bit, and then I think we're good. Uh, I'll leave the highlight off of that leg. I guess they didn't do it either. I can see why. So there's a little bit, just the tiniest bit of booty shaping going on here. Weird. I'm not sure how they got those strokes to look like that. Hmm. They basically I think they drew the booty like this. Just to get a curve. That's too much though. And theirs is up higher. They have more angle. They have more angle here, I think. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna make that booty pop. That's what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna we're just gonna change it because I can. That looks better. Now I'll go back to my mask layer and grab an eraser. I need a big eraser. That's not, that's way, that's out of hand. Darn it. Having problems using my pen. slightly frustrated if you can't tell if you can't tell by me making mistakes whenever I start making a bunch of mistakes it's because I'm frustrated almost always I think mine need to be at a different angle this and try something else where'd the mouse go I need you to be much smaller
Oh, wow. It looks terrible. <laughs> oh, geez. Let's see. What can I do here to fix this? That might help a little bit. You know, this is just inking. I don't know why this is so complicated for me. I should know how to do this. This is the same kind of technique I would use if I was using a pen. It's just not translating well right now for some reason. There we go. Hmm. What do you think? What am I doing? What am I doing wrong? This is going to be one of those things that I'm just not going to be able to figure out this time, I think. That's all right. That happens. It happens to everybody. What do you think? Did I forget anything? Aside from the little button? I think it's all there. I need to color in her eyebrows. Let me just do that real quick. Is that a stray? That's a stray. These aren't her eyebrows, these are her eyelids. But whatever, they need to be colored in. Actually, they're her eyelashes. You don't generally draw eyelids in anime, I don't think. Okay, she's done. Let's give her a nice background. I'm going to do my usual very basic thing because I can't think of anything else. Uh, they used red for her background thing, so I'm going to throw in... Oof, that's too much. I think red kind of... What's the red they chose? Let's steal it. That's a bit much. That's a bit too much. What would go well with her composition? They gave her a, either a white background or a transparent background, I think. Yeah, she's got a white background. Let's go with white. I don't want to add too many colors. And they gave her a little symbol or something in the background. What do you think? Can I do a little symbol? Let's see if I can do it without without killing myself. I'm even going to use their color. Let's do it. I'll have a little bit of fun with this. With this part. Tell what that is. Let's get rid of the reference. 
Don't need that anymore. Gosh. <laughs> Let's hide everything. <laughs> oh, man. See what I'm working with now? I was trying to make a big W, but I guess I messed it up. Mess her up a little bit. You're not going to be able to see the important part of the W anyway. Let's just do this so that I can dump bucket. Dump bucket. Grab some black. Add some. I don't know what this kind of shading is called, but I do it all the time when I work in ink. And this other artist did it. And it looked really cool, but I am not very good at doing it in this medium. It's hard to do. Because you have to kind of place your lines really um, really deliberately. And I'm just not very good at that. Not yet. Not yet. Gonna add a stroke layer, stroke uh, filter. Full opacity. Yeah, we'll leave it nice and big. Cool, now let's turn everything back on. Not that. Nothing's named, so I just have to turn things on and hope it's gonna work. That's the bulk of it. Don't need that. Don't need that. Is that it? Am I done? I think I'm done. I'm gonna add a little... Signature somewhere. Let's throw it. Uh, where should I put it? I'll put it right here. I'm going to do it with this color. I'm just going to write it by hand on its own layer. If you don't know, this is my website. That's where you can find everything about me. Webzilla.tv It's a work in progress, but I made it myself and I'm pretty proud of it. It's got a Windows 95 theme, which I really enjoy. If you haven't seen it, please go see it. I also sell stickers there. If you want some cool stickers. Just click the shop link. I'm just going to throw that right there. Excellent. All right, there you go. What do you guys think? Let me know. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe, interact with my stuff. I'll talk to you. It helps me out a lot when you say stuff. Um, if you made it to the end of the video, you are a champ. This has been a long one. Um, I appreciate your support. Come say hi in Discord. Send me a DM on Space A. Send me a friend request. I'll accept all those. Uh, take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. Have a good time, and I'll see you next time.